other stores. Yes. You know, this national workshops, what's going on in Bongo, the upper there, what's going on in Kenya, this little helpers, the regular time, the timeline according to mm -hmm. so that we can engage in the So, um, ladies and gentlemen, with this I rest my case and I think uh, we have done quite a good job and uh, I really thank all of you one more time. I really thank all of you and I think we should give ourselves a very high round of applause by clapping. I don't know who can deal it. Do it better, and then, um, sister, help, <laughs> lead us, <laughs> please. Uh, we can do the, the rain, we start with the short one, drizzling, two fingers, three fingers, four fingers, thank you, thank you very much. You can just part with me your back. You have to appreciate yourself. I want to thank you so much for your commitment, for your love, for the friendship we have created, for the bond that we have formed, and for our great organizations that have brought us together for the future that we are looking forward to. And I want to thank the Canadian government for making this possible. I want to thank the Kenyan government, the Ugandan government, and governments of IGAD for making this possible. Thank you very much. Thank you for everything. Sometimes you see them reading uh, uh, speeches and they really run out of ideas on how to address them. Uh, so I see this is a very good opportunity for us to stamp our authority, create our own space as professionals and as teams that will be uh, 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 having a mark in the generation of uh, new knowledge in the aspects of city. And so, uh, to me, I don't usually look at the budget, especially when it comes to research, because the budget comes second. The real outcome of any research project matters. And uh, in this one here, I want to assure you, turned out in from us, that the outcomes of this particular uh, initiative will be exclusively 
choose your career. And if I were you, nobody should have his or her name not listed in any publication that are going to come out of here. Uh, There's a study that I was moved into in 2008. By the time we were doing other studies in 2011, I was shocked <coughs> when UNESCO was quoting me in their global education report uh, in a conference somewhere in Oxford, and I was like, oh, and that one they talked about in this short one here. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, uh, I knew the impact of such written papers. And I want to tell you that uh, if we want to elevate ourselves, if we want to go career-wise, it's good for our names to be appended on outcomes of such a report. So I encourage all of you to really embrace it and support it. Um, thank you very much, IDRC. Uh, for starters, the idea came from Tufena, who contacted uh, IDRC. She shared with me, and we worked on it before we had met. Uh, I had known Tufena when she was still teaching at the university here, but then I was also in one of the universities around. We went in a conference. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, then now, uh, uh, at that time, her hands got so full. She decided to supervise us from Brazil. <laughs> and she considered a very good team, uh, led by Pro, Azemu, and myself. We were called somewhere in Westlands. And Ramata locked us in. <laughs> <laughs> For one week. For a full week. <laughs> with all the stress. So we, we did our first draft. Uh, uh, and this Prof who wanted to, to, to shoot somebody. What is his name? Uh, prof of Nigeria. Uh, was it somebody in the uh, uh, OKJ. OKJ. Yeah. Charles OKJ. Charles. Charles OKJ. Yeah, he yeah. came and looked at our paper and said, uh, Prof, what is this? <laughs> 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 so we had to really redo our work. Yeah. And um, each day, we were making sure that we come up with a draft for people to criticize. Mm -hmm. And so the work was heavily done by the three men being survived by one lady <laughs> from abroad. <laughs> and uh, I'm glad that it has yielded uh, something for us to follow up. But as Ramata may uh, uh, start with this, I think IDRC is one, okay, some of you if you work with other donors, IDRC is one of the most cordial donors I've ever worked with. <coughs> a donor that tells that, you know, this one we think it's that this way. But if you think otherwise, just show it so then we can discuss. <coughs> then the donors that can do a correction and recorrect, mm. and if you disapprove them, they'll still accept and say, no, this is the way we accept that. Very few with many donors. Very few. Even just uh, project reports, uh, we have some that we're doing. Someone tells you, okay, you need a piece of activity. You want to see the change. You tell them that see, this does not have a physical change. You say, no, 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 no. It has to be there. Or, you know. <laughs> so I think IDS is a very unique donor, and I think we need to nurture this relationship. Uh, uh, not only on CV, but we are now looking at, you know, for us in uh, the civil society, when we start one project, we are going to create the next problem to come to you so that you find us another one. So we will always be <laughs> If we don't do that, we will be retiring before our day takes. <laughs> so we will be disturbing you. So before I make a uh, conclusion to invite Moses, let me hear uh, uh, my sister uh, from Uganda. But before she starts, I met Lena when I was actually planning uh, to visit Kampala because the friend I wanted the permit before we could even leave Westlands. <laughs> and I was like, what do I do? I consulted uh, 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 the accounts team. They told me, you know, a project that we don't even talk about, we have not even got an acknowledgement. How do you want to spend on it? Mm -hmm. And then now, when we were, we were in uh, Naivasha, the idea was so strong now. We, uh, I belong to the National uh, Committee on Genocide, and she also belongs on the same in their country. Uh, so we were discussing the regional things. And she presented a paper uh, 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 about gender issues. Uh, for those who don't know me so much, that is where my strength also is, lies, gender violence and research. And so we hooked up very quickly, and I asked her if she would be interested in something like this. And so I gave a few quick questions as, as a researcher, and I really got convinced that Lena is a great person. Now, what convinced me most was when she volunteered on such kind of talk to start mobilizing moving and actually consulting the process of the permit. 
-hmm. It had its. Mm -hmm. The only challenge was financial. Mm -hmm. But the rest, sometimes she could write for me an email three times. If I was still in a meeting, <coughs> she follows with a call. <laughs> How can I write you an email and take three hours before you respond? I said, oh, Linda, this is the main way. And you should know you are talking to a CEO. <laughs> 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 so, but I think uh, she was really, really something. But uh, 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 truly, the process in Uganda would be challenging. And if you were faint-hearted, we would have not gotten even the ethical clearance. She went to the commission, and we were not sure that after we, we, we conclude the issue of the three dollars for the permit, yeah. things are done. Then she writes a very exciting email to me, a whole page. The next day, she is given a referral, go back for ethical clearance. Another. Thing. Three hundred thousand, three hundred dollars. So I think uh, uh, with all that dynamics, I want to uh, uh, endorse yeah. Lena to be the appropriate person in Uganda for us to work with. So what remains for her is to prove my endorsement. Approve my endorsement. <laughs> Spotted by <laughs> somewhere. Spotted. Yes, you oh, were right. Simon Spotted. <laughs> <laughs> by somewhere in Taivasa. <laughs> Rivalo, Rivalo, Jesus. After my presentation, he came to me uh, without wasting time. He came to me and said, Are you ready? And I was very excited. Because I've heard about this center being established and you know, prevention. I've been working a lot with youth and my personal experiences had actually convinced me that this is the way to go. Uh, I have no apologies for harassing you because we now, <laughs> we now have taken, uh, we have overcome the first critical step in terms of uh, the permit towards uh, the getting the, the final permit. And we have actually established contact and the only waiting for us to submit in terms of the National Council. And to be here in, in Nairobi today, expanding on Naivasha, and you entrust me to be the focal person for uh, the ambassador at large for, uh, for PeaceNet, Kenya, in Uganda, I am very humbled. And indeed, uh, I wish to say I have, with that humility, accepted with, of course, the commitment that you'll be giving uh, me that guidance. I knew professor in the harsh terrains of, uh, of the Republic of South Sudan before the, before the independence. And uh, in our conversation, he says, you know, I'm not the final person to take the decision, but I, my recommendation will be, you know, uh, uh, um, accepted most likely. And this person is called Sandy. I say, <laughs> so you gossip. Yes. So we <laughs> anyway. <laughs> it's a very, it, it, I like challenges. And it has come at a time when I, this year I had actually resolved if there's nothing new and challenging to my profession, I need to be going home relax and retire and, and, and age more gracefully. 
but I'm excited that you have given <coughs> another lease of life in the corridors of, 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 of research. And also, I commit to be part of this wonderful team with your guidance. And also, uh, can see as a mother that with this project, not only Kenya and Uganda and Igat, <coughs> the governments here present and Africa region, <coughs> but the world will be descending and looking for us like there's no tomorrow. Thank you very much. Thank you much, Lena, for addressing. And we are coming there to confirm the CBA 29. Please do. At Kenya, we are always working as a team. And, uh, in all our programmatic conversations uh, with Lena and everyone else, uh, they will be coming uh, to our program manager. And uh, so I would want to give Abby this opportunity also to just say what uh, on his experience with this team. And literally yesterday I went and left him in charge so that at least he can, he can take over. Yes, yes. It's always good that if you are leading some people, you start making sure that you can be exiting as well. So, Abi, please, uh, what the word for the team? Uh, thank you so much. Mine won't be much, but just to say thank you. It's been a good experience with the entire team on board, and of course, meeting a new partner and a new colleague. So, welcome on board. It's been a pleasure <coughs> having you, and we look forward to the match. Thank you. Yeah, so thank you very much. Uh, so, for me to continue, I want just to make one remark that in collaborations, in partnerships, and uh, mostly in research partnerships, they are bound to a lot of, of stress. Field work usually is not very easy. And all, uh, I've also realized that when people stay out of the, from their families for more than 10 days, and mostly in remote areas, they get to have the tendency to be even more stressed. And so I'm not preempting that we will be having a lot of strain in this process. But I want to say that if they come, let's see how to manage them very cordially. And any collaboration needs a lot of mutual respect and mutual understanding of partnerships. Uh, the ideology of big brother uh, uh, partners affects the progress of some many different projects. So that you see, you conclude a project like this, say, no, no, I can never enter it. What partners will start again? <laughs> Today, if I had not known Bernard six years ago, we would not be sitting with her. Mm -hmm. I need to see her ten more uh, uh, years again to come. And I need to see Lena in her retirement. Mm -hmm. I need to see Pro have the, the state meeting so that I could also have more uh, 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 networks. So uh, for each of us, what we count for here is so that at least we can build on and see how we move forward. So, for the coordinator at uh, Fena, uh, and uh, our group when we later we bank on your coordinated leadership, and everything was fine. We really want to have consultations, uh, shared opinion, and I think we are going to be the best in Africa. Yeah. And Mr. Moses, I was just inviting to speak. I would also welcome you. I don't know. <laughs> I, I hope you let me, you'll allow me to talk without standing. <coughs> I'm, I'm normally more comfortable that way. And I'm obviously um, quite grateful for this invitation to be a part of this uh, particular conversation. Um, mostly in representation of our civil leaders, but in relation to that, I'd like to say one or two things here and there. Um, I'm a little bit grateful that when uh, Lena was talking, she did not mention where she first spotted me. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was a bit worried that that was going to come. Oh, <laughs> it, it went <laughs> out. So, uh, That's where you were sitting. <laughs> <laughs> where is Lena going this <laughs> She has learned, I think. She, she wasn't even going further. With it. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 th thanks, for, thanks for not getting there. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, 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 but to say that uh, we, we, we worked with Lena on a whole bunch of things. Uh, 
over the course of uh, the last 15 or so years. So she's a, she's a person that, uh, uh, you know, we, we, we meet on, at least mentally, uh, quite, quite a bit. So I would also spare her the, the, embarrassment, the embarrassment of saying when I first spotted her. Yeah. So, so I can leave that to her. <laughs> Um, I just wanted to, meant, uh, to mention two things. Um, the first one is that uh, uh, C1 as a technical uh, arm of EGA first got involved with this question of violent extremism way back in uh, 2012, when in uh, September uh, we were given the mandate by the <coughs> Committee of Permanent Secretaries, um, endorsed by the Committee of Ambassadors expand uh, the areas of work that, uh, that, that we engage in, the areas of work that we collect uh, <coughs> data around. And between then and now, we've been working on a, a whole range of things just to try and uh, get our heads around how to actualize those particular recommendations of, uh, of the Committee of Permanent Secretaries. So as, uh, as we speak now, uh, where we've reached is that uh, We've developed uh, indicators you know, for tracking violent extremism uh, uh, alongside other things uh, 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 within the region. So it's, a, it's, a, it's an area that we've been thinking, it's an area that we've been uh, uh, working on, uh, but it's also an area that we acknowledge that we need to do a little bit more in order to put our fingers on exactly what it is that uh, we're dealing with uh, in the region. So I'm only bringing up this background to, to, to reiterate the fact that there is a bit of a history uh, here. And when, uh, uh, when uh, 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 Trofena and Dr. Sandy you know, said, uh, could you come and uh, you know, uh, uh, listen to some of the conversations we're having here, uh, we took it immediately without question because we knew it's a conversation that we've been having internally. And it's also a conversation that we should not limit to internal, you know, in, internal sort of a, a construct. We should be engaging with the uh, different actors. Which brings me to the other other point. The, the protocol that establishes uh, C1 um, as a technical arm of, uh, of, of, of EGA also requires that uh, we engage with civil society quite a bit. So there is a, a legal basis uh, for, 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 for our interest uh, in this particular conversation. That's also the, the, the grounding from which we come. I want to say, though, that uh, most of the conversations I, I shared here are obviously, first of all, Chatham House uh, rules um, to begin with. But secondly, they are also um, a building block to, to cementing uh, the relationship that we're going to have. I say this specifically because um, sometimes when we talk about partnerships, um, we, we, we're not quite clear on when it starts and when it ends or when it starts, or when it should end. So uh, for, for us, um, the interpretation of my presence here is not that we have started a partnership yet, but we have started courting each other. So we're in the courtship phase. In order to, to, to consummate that courtship, we're going to require um, either a priest, for, for those who are uh, Christian, or, or an imam, for those who are Muslims, to sort of uh, endorse that courtship and say, now you can go and do whatever I have been doing. So, so, so we, 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 we are heading there, and hopefully we're just uh, having a bit of a bilateral with uh, Trufena here about how, you know, that how, how that process should be done. Hopefully it should be done um, in the not so many weeks uh, that are coming up. And, and lastly, um, when we talk about um, C1, or you got for that matter, sometimes, uh, what we tend to forget is that we're talking about seven governments represented in that. So, so at any one time, um, when uh, we, we make a statement public, we're also trying to balance out, you know, the the, 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 the interests and, 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 and positions of the different seven states um, in any in any particular situation. So clearly, that, that some of the comments I've made here might have seemed a little bit tricky, but that's that's the line that we have to navigate all the time to make sure that. Uh, Everybody is on board, everybody is, uh, is comfortable. I suspect, uh, very last, that uh, sometimes towards the end of, uh, of this year, when we're having our annual uh, Committee of Permanent Secretaries meeting, we would be required to, to report about this, and to say, okay, this, this meeting happened, uh, this is the conversation that was had, 
um, you, you gave us a mandate in 2012. This is how far we've gone with that particular recommendation. And you know, there's a few other things and uh, things to be done. So with, with those, uh, I think I would uh, hand it back to you, uh, Sam, and uh, take it over. Thank you very much. For the partners involved, you must have been for the priests. <laughs> <laughs> So you might be the first to cement the scotch. Yes. So you give your last remarks. Yeah. Um, thank you very much. I don't think I will be long. Um, it's a um, word of thanks. Uh, so thank you to, for having me and having ideas in your, in your workshop. Um, so as I mentioned it yesterday, IDRC is not only uh, donors, we also are partners. So, and we um, are learning institutions. So we also need our partners to, to, to allow us to participate in such uh, meetings. So also we learn from you, because you are the experts in the thematics. We are only, you know, um, supporting research in different topics but we are not special you cannot be specialist in everything so but we just coordinate and help to at least to have the rigorous of the research to be done uh, but the thematic is really your your expertise and that is for us a great opportunity to learn and also to inform our programming um, that's also uh, I wanted to thank you for having uh, having me having ideas in this, and it's also to apologize again for not being here the first day. Um, so uh, we make sure that next time we'll be here for the full time. I also wanted to, to reiterate that IDRC, uh, as I just mentioned, um, we are um, also committed to support our recipients. Uh, to, to, to really do their best to achieve the goals and the, of the outcome that they, they, they set in their research. In doing so, uh, we have so um, some uh, very useful uh, materials that we uh, uh, have produced for our, our grantees that can be used uh, and helpful in their, in their process. Uh, we also are open to for conversation. Um, you know, we know research is iterative, so the proposal is a proposal, it's a planning tool, planning document. So we understand that it can evolve. Uh, it can evolve over time. Uh, some adjustment can be made. Some even some significant changes can happen because of the context. But I think it's, that's why it's very important to uh, keep us in the loop. Everything you do, uh, please keep us in the loop so that we are in the on the same page, so 